Jack Boomsma. And I'm Elliot Hartford. And we are back with another episode of HTTV Live. Uh, and this week we got Homecoming coming up. Uh, if you want to list the dress up days, please. Yeah. So for Monday for Homecoming, that's this next week or whatever. September 20th. Yeah. Uh, we have Redneck Day. That's on Monday. Tuesday is Duck Day. T day. And uh, with that, it's just like duct taping shirts pants, whatever you want to do. You can make anything out of duct tape, basically. Do whatever you want. Um, Wednesday's pajamas, pajama days, that's a good old classic. Thursday is thrift store day, so. Like oh. fur coats, old clothes, stuff like that, just look funky. Yeah, stuff you'd find in that thrift store, if any of you ever go there. And then Friday is obviously red, white, and blue day for the parade and stuff like that. And uh, we want to encourage everybody to dress up. It just gets the homecoming vibe up. Just really good time. That way we have more fun if everybody dresses up. And we'll be announcing homecoming king and queen that Monday. And then uh, then Monday, like, this is activities. Monday we have painting the streets from first hour to third hour at the high school. Tuesday is rub beer floats during eighth hour. Thursday is 9 through 12 power to puff football, a two-layer football field at 6 p.m. Everybody's welcome to that, no charge. And then uh, also Thursday at 7 p.m. is 9 through 12 tough guy volleyball in the gym here, which is going to be pretty fun. That's going to be fun. Anyway, and then Friday, of course, we got full building, pep rally at 1 o'clock, parade to follow that, the watermelon feed after that. And that's all in two-layer. And then we are ho our football team is hosting a pump pass and kick at the two-layer football field at 3 p.m. for all the little kids that want to. Uh, and then 7 through 12, grade 7 through 12 has a car bash that night after the football game in two-layer. And it's a dollar a hit, and uh, it will be on the tennis courts following the football game. And now I'm going to send it to Riley Flea with the kids in the elementary. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV Live, and I'm here with Lena. What grade are you in? Sixth grade. What is your favorite thing to do at recess? Um, play volleyball. Are you doing any sports this year? Uh, yeah, volleyball, basketball. What's your favorite subject? Um, no, not science. Um, probably reading. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here with Josephine. What grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Um. Probably either volleyball or football. Are you doing any sports this year? Um, basketball and football. And what's your favorite subject? Uh, math. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Karis. What grade are you in? First. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Monkey bars. What's your favorite subject? Science. And what are you learning right now in school? Vowels and families. Okay, thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Riley, for that for those interviews. Um, now it's time to send it to Jack and Zach for sports. Uh, now for volleyball. Last Thursday, the girls traveled to Woolsey Westington. They lost in three sets. Uh, last Saturday, they went to Clark for a volleyball tournament. And they played Great Plains Lutheran. They won two sets. Wilmot also won two sets. And Redfield, and they won in two sets again. And, but they played Florence Henry for the last game and lost in two sets. And this last Tuesday, they traveled to Aberdeen for, to play Aberdeen Christian. And they went, they went into five sets, but they ended up losing. So yeah. And just an update, we will be live streaming next week's homecoming game, so stay tuned for that. Hello, I'm Jack Boomsville with the HTTV Live, and I'm filling in for Zach because he is sick at the moment, but uh, I'm here with Coach Solomon. Coach, how do you think last week's game went? You know, it didn't go the way we wanted as far as the score goes, but we played tough, uh, played well for the most part, and, uh, and uh, excited to, to see how we do this week. And then uh, you got Falkton this week, right? Yes. Yep. yep. All right, well, thank you, Coach. All right. Booms with HGTV Live filling in for Zach Gilbert. Um, uh, how'd your tournament go this weekend? Um, tournament, we, we played exceptionally well. Um, we took three wins out of the four, um, got second place out of 12 teams, so we're very happy with our finish. 
Um, I think we just ran out of gas at the end. Um, we ended up playing Great Plains Luther and Wilmot in our pool, swept them 2-0, and then we got a rematch with Redfield, played outstanding against them, swept them 2-0, and then we ended up against a pretty good Florence Henry squad. And uh, like I said, I think we just ran out of gas at the end, but not to take nothing away from our girls, it was just an exceptional day. Well, that's good. How did last night's game go? Um, you know, last night we got down 2-0 to Aberdeen Christian. Um, our players could have easily uh, rolled over and packed it in for the night, but they showed a lot of heart, a lot of determination, battled back, guy to five, and we ended the fifth set 15-13. Um, ultimately passing, ball control was the biggest key in that game. Um, you know, like I tell our players, it comes down to, to errors, whether it's serving, hitting, ball control errors. That's basically what the difference in the game was last night. I see. And uh, what do you got coming up? Um, we go to Highmore uh, tomorrow night, which is Thursday. A uh, big conference match with them. It's always a good one going over there. Tough atmosphere to play. They bring a good crowd. Um, you know, and that probably is going to tell us where we're going to be seated for the conference tournament after tomorrow night. Um, as far as how we, if we win or lose that, that match. Um, they went five with Potter County to, uh, last night. Um, and so I'm expecting another good one, another tough match. And like I said, they have a couple of hitters we have to contain. Um, so we're going to have to look at practice today, how, what we're going to do with those. All righty, thank you. Thank you for that report, me and Zach. But uh, yeah, Zach was sick this week, so I had to take his place in some of those. But uh, now we're going to send it to Jacob with the weather. Hey, it's the weather, man. So for our seven-day forecast for Tula, it's looking like Friday's going to be a high of 73, low of 57. Uh, Saturday will be a high of 83, low of 64. Sunday is a high of 86, low of 59. And then Monday will be a high of 73, low of 52. And Tuesday, we got a high of 70, low of 46. Wednesday, it's a high of 67 and a low of 42. And then Thursday, we have a high of 68 and a low of 49. Uh, and then for our seven-day forecast for Hitchcock, Friday is looking like a high of 70, low of 40, 57. Saturday is a high of 83, low of 66. Sunday is a high of 86, low of 60. And then Monday is a high of 73, low of 52. Tuesday is a high of 70, low of 46. Wednesday, high of 67 low 42. Thursday is a uh, high of 68 and low 49. Back to you. Thank you for that weather report, Jacob. Looks like it's going to start cooling off here actually pretty soon, so that's pretty good. Yep. But anyway, uh, this Friday, tomorrow, there's an elementary football game at 4 p.m. in Falkton, junior high football game at 5, and varsity game at 7, and all those are at Falkton. Um, and then Saturday is elementary football at 10 a.m. at Westington Springs. Then we jump over to Monday, uh, September 20th. There is uh, five p at 5 p.m. There's junior high football at Wolsey. Tuesday, the 21st, uh, is JV and varsity volleyball at Dolan starting at 5 p.m. And then uh, Wednesday, the 22nd, there is FFA and Redfield starting at 8 a.m and cross country in Falkton at 1 p.m. And then you got the birthdays? Yeah, I got the birthdays again. So I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Madison Watson, Colleen Whiff, uh, Jacob Hugh, I think, hey, hey, I don't know. Um, Myron Whiff and Jaren Whiff. So happy birthday, guys. Hello, I'm Brian Close for the HGTV Live. I'm here with Junior. So, Junior, how are you liking school? Um, it's great. Hmm. What uh, what's your favorite subject? So, math. Math. Have you learned anything new in math? Nah. Nah. You in uh any sports? I can see you have a football jersey on. Yeah, I'm in football. Hmm. You guys have any upcoming games? This Friday. This Friday, who you guys play? A Patriots, Patriots, I meant, yeah. Yeah, all right. Back to you, Jack. Now I want to thank all of you for tuning in to another episode of HGTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. And I'm Brian Pantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock 2 there.